joining. This is A Touch of Tarot. My name is Genevieve and I'm going to be doing your reading to see when is love coming in for you. The extended will be on Patreon with all the others. For one price, you can check that out. I also have another channel you may want to check out um, with just some advice and suggestions because they're all techniques I use to get myself out of the dungeon, I call it, okay? <laughs> you can watch it. The link's below as well. The channel's called Jen Lauren. Um, so yeah, if you feel like seeing what I have to talk about, go ahead, check it out. So we're going to start by pulling three Oracle cards. I'm not going to flip them all over just yet, but I'm going to flip over one. And then I'm going to pull the tarot. And then I'm going to flip the other oracle cards and see what's going on here. Okay, so first message, okay, you deserve love. So without all the other cards yet, I mean, this could just be a blank statement. Like, hey, just so you know, you deserve love. Make sure you put your target on the right people that are going to give you what you deserve. Make sure you know that you are lovable before you even target someone. Because if you don't know that, like, how are they going to love you when you don't love yourself, right? That's a common message I think we all kind of know. So let's see what's coming in for Sagittarius. Let's get three cards here. First one, the lovers. Well, this is interesting. It's interesting. When is this happening too, right? This is what we really want to know. We have the death card. You guys see how that flipped out? It's kind of cool. Okay, well, okay, fine. That was the Three of Swords, to be honest. I really feel like that was relevant, but it's shuffled back in. So we have the Emperor. So personally, the first message I get, I just want to say it, is that someone has their eye on you. They probably hurt you, okay? And that could just be another message. Let's just put that out there now. Um it's probably a situation also that's over. Yeah, like I think it was a bad over. So this may be why you got to be careful with who you're looking at next. Or I feel like you're really like you do have your eyes set on someone with that bow and arrow kind of psyche energy here because you want love. You want to be loved. But I do feel also that you still have a tie to what's ended to a love situation that's ended. And it's really important to not carry that energy uh, with you, Sag. Okay. So it's interesting because I also get Sag, like you could have been the one to do this. You could have been the one to have a very deep love connection and kind of suck it dry, you know, and you're regretting it or someone's regretting it. If you want to put it vice versa. And now it's almost like someone's out here, like really looking for love, but they're not even, they haven't even let go of the past. I mean, I need to get a clarifier for you right now because I want to know before I move forward with that, the hermit. Yeah. Someone needs to take some space and go within and, get to know themselves again. Um, yeah, there really is a need for a, a self-reflection um, and getting back in touch, okay? I'm seeing the Empress here, but she's in reverse. Um, so it's really important to get back in touch. Look at this woman's holding the dove. There's two dove energies here. It's like you got to give yourself some self-love, okay, Sag? That's what I'm getting here for you. Let's pull out these other cards and see what they are talking about. Reconsider and wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. I think you're really trying to find love so hard. Um, this person may come back to you and, you know, I feel like they're empty. I feel like though they may have some growth to them, but it's just a fresh start. Don't even you know, they're just dipping their roots in the nourishment of knowledge. Don't even is what I get here. I find it. It's a very, it's not scary. It's not meant to be, but there could be someone that has a lot of money also, um, or they could be jealous of you. 
because I'm just getting the green energy from the green man. And the green man is supposed to be like the divine masculine. But remember, this green man is replacing the three of swords that I had happened to shuffle back in there. And this green man is hiding, camouflaged, not 1000% being forthright or forthcoming, I should say, right? This person also may be playing games with you. If this is someone from your past um, coming in. So really, you're the first cards so far to get like a warning. Like reconsider if you're planning to go back to another love that's been ended. Reconsider that. You may also be really thinking about that past love and you have someone right in front of you. And you may need to go within and figure out why you're connected so heavily to this past. Or just take a look at what you're doing and just don't rush. Have you cleared your energy yet? Have you gotten truthful with yourself yet? Let's get one more card here. Sag, like, hmm, it's an interesting reading. Okay, the divine child, the higher fint. Um, sorry, one second. So we have the higher fin here, and I picked it up with another five. I'm not meaning to, like, I just want to say this. I feel really like someone here, whether it be you or your person, you really want this love thing. <laughs> I say that like that because I love love. I get it. But I feel like maybe you want a child or you want... Like, I just think you're not really going about things for the right reasons just yet. And that's why you're getting this pause energy to reconsider and just wait a second. Like, don't rush into things. Make sure you're clear about what you want. Make sure you really thought it through as well. For those of you that want a child, maybe you first need to borrow someone's child, like offer them to take, like, honestly, honest to God, offer someone if you have someone that can trust you enough and will do that because, you know, not everyone's giving you their child. Um, but if you can take a child for more than one or two days, like really, or live in the home with them, say, hey, like, I want a child. Could I by any chance stay with you and just see what it's like? Because I think people really forget that once you have a child, you literally have something stuck to you 24 hours a day. It really is, especially in the beginning, especially if you're a very protective person. So are you ready to trigger your protection and be like, oh, no, like, I got to be with my kid 24 hours a day. Keep my kids safe. So I'm just saying a, a child may sound fun. And this is the message for someone here. Because this child in the Hierophant, you see, it's almost like you're connecting marriage with child with, you know, the white picket fence. This is what I'm getting here. But the child is playing with paint. And to be honest, what I see here is one flame. So I really think you need to be very careful as to who or what you think is going to happen here because a child is not all fun and games, obviously. Um, I mean, whoever that message is for, you're going to get it and you're going to be listening still. Otherwise, um, if we're moving forward to the extended, I'm going to look into who is this green man exactly. And why do you have to wait? Why, what are you reconsidering and what is over that you're not letting go of? I'm not telling you, I just, you know, I'm going to have to say it. I feel that if you were to get what you want right now without doing this right and really like checking things out and allowing nature to take its course, I actually feel like you could end up um, a one parent parent. Okay. So if you're here um, or if you're continuing with us, you know, and look at the high priestess is at the bottom. You know that waiting is probably your best bet right now, that you don't need to rush into anything and that you're still clearing up whatever this love situation is that ended and really affected you. Okay. Thank you.